Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been three years since my last confession. And there's only one thing I have to confess. Yes. I killed four families. I don't know how many exact people, maybe 12, 13, 14. I cut their hearts out, ate some. Go to the police, turn yourself in. I can't. It's not me who kills. The demons possessed me and won't let me go. I need an exorcism. Father? When I came to the chapel today, there were at least 10 people waiting for confession. Either go to the police or get yourself some psychiatric help. I knew you wouldn't believe me. No. Check the internet. You'll see it's real. Put in four cities, Birmingham, Alabama, Bridgeport, Connecticut, Bozeman, Montana, and Mount Angel, Oregon. Put in mutilation killings. Enough. You'll see it's real. No, just stop. I need your help. Well, I... This demon already has a family here in San Mateo. It wants to kill tomorrow night. Yeah, well, I can't help you. No, Father, <laughs> only you can. I need an exorcism before this demon kills again, please. Just go. Check the internet, please, Father. Only a priest can help. I'll come back tomorrow. Oh God, don't. Check the internet. Father? Father, are you there? Um, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, begin your confession. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been one day since my last confession. My son wouldn't eat his dinner last night, and so I yelled at him for it. I just, I feel so awful for yelling, please forgive me, Father. <sighs> Confessions? <laughs> uh, that bad? Yeah, the pits. All right. What was it this time? The everydayers who confess every little sin? A joker, some crazy person. It wouldn't go away, just keep going on and on and on and on. Okay, it's over. Have some wine. I don't know, maybe... The psychopath just points out how meaningless the whole thing is. This Father Abel Mendoza talking. Mr. Gung Ho on confession, forgiving sins, saving souls. Okay, maybe meaningless isn't the right word. More like the consequential. I've been a priest for five years now. I got into it to help people. I thought there'd be more to it. More, more excitement. I get a difference in people's lives. Abel, every priest goes through something like that. We have to adjust our sights to the reality, but you do good work. People come to me as pastor. They say they love having you here. You take it seriously. I wish I could believe that. I need something to believe in.
It's me, Father. I went on the internet. Thank God. You said this demon is set to kill another family tonight. Tonight. I've never performed an exorcism. You can do it, Father. The demon's afraid of you. Really? It hates when I go to Mass. It tries to stop me, but on this one it can't. God is the only hope I have. When you're up there, preaching, only it hates you. Your passion, your power, it's too frightening for it. Yes. That's why I came to you. It's scared of you. A Catholic priest can do that. It's the power of holy orders. I know. And the demon knows too. Okay, this exorcism. Uh, can you come here to the church tonight? Father, that wouldn't work. It won't let me come here, not for an exorcism. That makes sense. It'll do anything to avoid me, a Catholic priest. Exactly. You have to come out to the house where the family lives. Come at midnight. Because it always kills after midnight. Midnight. What's the address? 1522 Avila Street. Okay, I, I know it may not let you, but I need you to do all that you can to prepare. Pray beforehand, say a rosary, read Psalms from the Bible. Yes. Yes, Father, I'll try. We need to do all that we can to save this family from this demon who wants to take their hearts out. Father, you are an instrument of God. Confessions? Yes. It's finally happening, Mark. What's that? Something exciting as a priest, something that feels like destiny, like it was meant to be. Don't tell me you fell for one of our parishioners during confession. Are you kidding? It's finally something where I can finally make a difference. Finally. Abel, I think you better tell me what's going on. Tomorrow. I'm going to have a story to tell. As pastor, your mentor, your friend, I think you better tell me now. I know you. All I can say is be careful. Trust me. Sharon. Who are you? 
What have you done with the man I met in confession? Oh, the dark entity that runs the mass confession for help. Don't worry, he's nice and safe within me. I want to talk to the man I met in confession. Are you really telling me what to do, Shaman? Maybe you've read too many Stephen King novels. Shaman is what the vampire calls the priest in Salem's Lot. Do you really want to make things worse for yourself, Shaman? Let me oh, Please talk to the man I met in confession! I'll call the police right now and let them deal with this. You knew you were coming. Yes, the entire thing is tied up in the bedroom. He's gonna cut their hearts out. And they're on the oath. Cast this damn thing out. Yes, Father, come on up. I invite you. Try and cast me out. You'll be my biggest prize of all. The heart of a priest. <laughs> the medieval priest knight. Arming himself for battle. You haven't got a chance. Not against me. Come on up, Padre. It will be your last action. stand up to this. I've killed 28 people with this knife. About to be 29. I cast you out. Uncast Along with every satanic outcome of your enemy. Every spectre of hell. Your fell devil's power asunder his snares and traps a holy temper to fight. I now have father of Bel Mendoza. Pious joke of St. Michael thinks himself a holy saint. Everyone else thinks him a joke. Father of El Mendoza. I am the man two weeks ago you turned away from confession when I really needed it. Too busy. Got a meeting, you said. I had three people behind me in line, knew it was a lie. So, I 
I decided to get my revenge. I am sick and tired of you lazy priests abusing us Catholics who want to be faithful. This whole damn thing was a joke because I wouldn't hear your confession. Exactly, shaman. I set up those sites on the internet, on my computer, from all your overwrought homilies on salvation. I knew you'd look, and I knew you'd come here tonight wanting to be the big exorcist priest. I staged the whole thing Maybe now you'll do your job right. Maybe now you'll be a priest. Right. My God, he's right. 